um, let's say this is the sea and the turtle she will come from the sea into the beach so before she reaches the beach she will look around if anyone is standing close to the sea for example if there is a group standing there close to the sea the turtle while she's coming she will see the group and then will turn back to the sea maybe she will go to look for another place or she will come back the next day and by the way the turtle she can keep their eggs in their body for three days and if she doesn't find a good place within three days, she will throw the eggs in the water. And the eggs will be wasted. That's why always leave the groups far away from the sea to give a chance for the turtle to come up on the beach and lay eggs. Otherwise, she'll be disturbed by us. Great. If there are no one standing close to the sea, the turtle, she will come to the beach to look for a proper place. Normally, the turtle looks for the warmest places. She looks for the warmest places and for the thick sand too. And she will dig for more than one hole just to find a good place. So as you saw, there are, uh, the beach is full of turtles holes, right? Do not think all of them are full of eggs. There is a difference between the real nest and the empty hole. I will tell you how it looks like. So the turtle, once she reaches the beach, she will dig a hole here, for example. We'll use their front, front flippers to dig for the first hole. The first hole she will dig it deeper. When she gets deeper, she will go up a little bit higher and she will use their back flippers as a driller, like this one. She will use their back flippers to dig for the <coughs> egg cavity. So as you can see now I'm digging and the sand keeps falling down again and again into the same hole. That means the sand is too soft. If the sand is too dry or too soft, the turtle, while she's digging, she can feel the sand which is falling inside the hole. So she will not like it. She will go to dig for another hole. She doesn't make it. She will try for the third one. After that, she will go back to the sea without laying eggs. So if you see a hole like this, round one, make sure there are no eggs. If you see a round hole, make sure there are no eggs inside. But the real nest, it looks like if the small hole created, the small hole must be half meter deep. When the small hole is ready, the turtle will start to lay the eggs and she will lay around 100 eggs. Oh. 100 eggs and the eggs, as you saw, it's like both both sides. And as you notice, the eggs surrounded by mucus. That liquid it keep the eggs very soft, not break inside the hole. Normally the turtle takes from 15 to 20 minutes to lay 100 eggs. It's a very short time, but she will keep laying five eggs in a time, two, three, till she finish. So once she finish, she will start to cover by using back flippers first, carefully. She will use their back flippers for five to ten minutes. And to make sure the eggs completely covered, she will use their front flippers too. So she will use them both, back flippers and front ones. As you can see now, the eggs covered. So you remember when I told you the small hole, it's around half meter deep. After the covering, there will be another half meter. So the eggs will be one meter deep. Even if you walk on the eggs, the eggs will not break because it's safe enough. Then, the same turtle, she will go two to three meters further up here, for example, and she will dig for another hole. It's like on the same way up the nest. So after two hours or two and a half hours, the turtle will go back. So this is an example of the real nest. It's an example of the real nest, how it looks like. It looks like a grave over. The eggs will be on the back and that hole will be empty. So the turtle creates that hole for a reason. The reason is to distract the predator. We have here predators. We have foxes, crabs and seagulls. The turtle creates that hole especially for the fox because the fox always looks for the deep holes. So we'll go to dig there. We'll dig and dig and dig till tomorrow. And at the end we'll go by empty hand because the eggs will be safe here.
Great, let's come to the eggs. <coughs> the eggs will occupy for two months. The eggs will stay under the sun for two months. After two months, the eggs will hatch. So after hatching, small turtles to come out, they need five to seven days. Because 100 small baby turtles, they will not come out at the same time. They will go in groups. Like for example, tonight 50 small turtles, they will go to the sea. Tomorrow, 30, and the day after 20, till they come. I mean, if they will complete. So small turtles, once they come out from the sand, there are about four to five centimeters. They are too tiny, but they are energetic, faster. They have limited power, this power to take them from the beach into the sea. And once they get into the water, nobody knows if there was a Bible. So I mentioned predators on the beach, like foxes, crabs, and sea birds. But also, once they reach the sea, like pollution, plastic bags, oils, and other things. Some of the small big turtles being trapped on the fishing boats, and the others being killed by motorized boats. So can you imagine, out of thousands of big turtles, only two or three survive. Two or three survive out of thousands because of the predators on the beach and also other things in the ocean. Some of them say, you have here predators, why am I not killing them? So they want us to kill those predators because they are eating small turtles and reducing their number. But at the end we say this is nature, this is nature reserve, so its species depends on the others. For example, if there are no eggs, there will be no foxes. And if there are no small turtles, there will be no seagulls. So it's connected. This is their life circle, their food chain, we cannot change it. We just leave the nature here as it is nature. Back in the days, tourists are allowed to stay here, camping, can you imagine? So much fires, lights, and disturbance. Also, number of tourists was unlimited. Special on occasions, like Christmas Eve and so on, you can see from 600 to 700 tourists, together in one group. At that time, at that time, there was, only, there was only one guy, a couple of assistants. Some of them, they step on small turtles while they're walking, because the beach is full of people, and they're stealing, and lots of things happen. But since they built that building, that building was built in 2008, they changed a lot of things. Nowadays, as you can see, they take them in small, small groups. We have enough guides and also enough assistants. And also, we go in batches. Batch one, and the second batch. So we take the first 10 groups and then we have to wait. Then another 10 groups. So if any groups they, they leave, we bring other groups. So that's how it goes. And also, the most important things, we are not allowed to we don't allow anyone to stay here the whole night. We only bring our tourists to show them the processes, we give them information, and then we go back to the center. Our main job here, we try to protect this reserve as much as we can. We do our best, and we say hopefully the number will increase one day, inshallah. Is it just about the